Toys dumped and discarded along with the trash. These items aren't broken. They actually are outside of the Salvation Army Collection Depot in Norfolk. The mess was behind the East Little Creek facility. 13 News Now reporter Allison Basil reached out to officials to try to understand why this happened. Yes, David, Nicole, a concerned neighbor brought us here behind the depot. It's where the old Kroger was in Ward's Corner. When we got here, there was a dumpster behind us filled with toys and trash. Some of that had spilled out onto the ground. There's always a bunch of trash out here. There has been since the event. I try to clean up as much as I can. Brian Hangeveld passes the Salvation Army's Christmas Collection Depot every day when he walks his dog. You have Hot Wheels toys. You have a, a, a wrestler. A Once Hangveld saw toys were mixed in, he wanted to find out why. He posted photos on Facebook. He got dozens of shares, and that's how we found out about the situation. Apparently, they had thrown toys in the dumpster, which I didn't know until some neighborhood kids must have gotten into it and they threw the toys outside of the dumpster. We contacted the Salvation Army late Tuesday and by Wednesday morning, the mess was gone. It's helped over 4,400 families through the building here. Salvation Army Development Director Grace Ramos says not all toy donations are usable. They could be broken toys, used toys, toys not in original packaging. Also, toys have to be age appropriate, so no Nerf guns. Ramos says anything in the dumpster fell under the not usable category. You know, we're always looking for the safety of the families and especially the children that we're helping. As far as the mess, Ramos says volunteers were on it as soon as our call came in. So when we get calls of, hey, there's a mess, you know, behind the building, you know, we call on our team and our team of volunteers to really help clean it all up. Ramos hopes those volunteers will help make even more children smile next year.